it to us. If he had it up above, it'd be perfect. Nice. If he had it straight up and down, it'd be perfect for him. That's nice. Uh, you see that way it's coming out in that pile over there? This is a thermal mass system we're doing on the school with insulated concrete panels. And the way the system is installed, we pour a casting bed of concrete on the ground that is zero flat. After we've got the casting bed, we do our layout, we do our form work, and we put this plastic liner down that'll actually go onto the casting bed using our brick veneer panel here. They snap in place right into the brick liner. They'll be embedded into the pour, just like you see on this one right here, laying flat down. Once we pour this concrete over the, the brick and it's all set, we take the insulation foam, it's two inches, with two and a quarter inches of concrete on this panel. This will lay on top of the concrete. The concrete sticks to this, helps to adhere it together. Then you have your pins that we put in. These pins are inserted into the, the foam. And as they're pushed down, pushed down, quarter turn, they lock in. This pin will be in the concrete. The concrete has an additive that, that's, that's in there that will actually harden up faster to help hold that in place. And then once this is dry and set, we'll come in and put rebar on top of this part of the, of the foam and then we pour another layer of concrete, which will be six inches in these particular panels. And that'll give you your full 10 and a quarter inch concrete panel. And it all is held together by this little pin through both sides. In return with that, you get the, the insulated panel that is the R rating of, I believe it's R19, and uh, helps a lot with the energy and the heating and cooling bill. That's about it. Mm -hmm.